name is Alan Reidelhuber. I am a, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm horrible without my notes. Yeah. You're doing great. Okay, so, thank you. My name is Alan Reidelhuber. I'm gonna talk about a, uh, an approach to application software development that's sort of inside out. Um, so, first time. Jitters. You're doing great. Thank you. So what is the biggest mistake we can make when we start a software project? What is the biggest mistake you've ever made when you started this? A green field, sky's the limit. What's the biggest mistake? I shouldn't have built it. <laughs> Starting in the first place? Starting in the first place. For me, for me, the biggest mistake is this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Rails, it's honestly, I love Rails, I've been using Rails for 10 years, I've made a great comfortable living off of it, I love Rails. But if you put any different framework in this sentence, it's the same. If you start with the framework, you're going to have problems. Now at this point, DHH <laughs> would interrupt me and say, well, Rails is actually like Steve Jobs' uniform, it's the thing that takes all those easy, to, like the trivial decisions away from you so you can focus on the really important stuff. And he'd be right. Except when it comes to your business logic. The only place where your application can't be represented by the framework. This is the code that's unique to you. It's special and you should treat it as such. When, when I've made the mistake of starting with a framework, this is often where I end up. I end up with these mega models and colossal controllers. They have hundreds or thousands of lines of code in them. Uh, methods that are hundreds of lines long with in incredibly enormous flawed scores. Um, and my business logic gets strewn all over the place because I'm not thinking about it first. The OO community really doesn't agree with this. Sandy Metz thinks that a, a class that's longer than five, uh, 100 lines of code is a smell. Uh, methods can't be any longer than five lines of code. Uh, Mike Feathers says uh, there's always one large class, and by that he means a class with 15 or more methods. Uh, I'm guilty of that. <laughs> um, and Mark Fowler says that anything that's got more than six lines of code, any method, is a smell. So if we're going to start with the framework and we're going to end up with this bloated model controller problem with business logic everywhere, or if we're uh, going to consider what the OO community says, what, you know, smaller classes, smaller methods, where should we start? Well, we should start with the business logic. We should write the code from the inside out. Now, the business logic, in my and my favorite, most preferred way of doing this is pure Ruby. There's no gems, no anything else, just pure Ruby that, uh, that I write with tests. I use tests to drive this and um, end up in a situation where um, I start here, start in the middle. I use tests to drive the system, preferably to 100%. Like I want 100% coverage on these, on these business use cases, basically, so that there's a, uh, um, I, I have the, uh, the confidence that, that I've, I've correctly uh, written them, and then I, if I break them, I'll see it. Uh, once I've got that in place, once I've got actual tests passing, I can then start plugging it into my framework. I can begin with controllers and models, I can add loggers and workers and mailers, but all of that stuff's on the periphery. It's outside the actual app. Uh, the app itself is that, that chunk in the middle that's full of tests, very well constructed. Um, that's it. My name is Alan Reidelhoover. I work at a company called Cisco Meraki. Um, you can reach me here. We are hiring, and if there's a bunch of us here, so if you see any of us, please come talk to us about what an amazing place to work it is. And that picture of me is maximum uh, COVID here. <laughs>